Hello there YouTubers and welcome to the Wimpy Pimp Metal Detective. I'm here with my trusty Garrett Ace 150 and I shall be shortly heading up to the beach to find some glorious finds under the shingle. However, I shall not be going alone. I will be coming with a rival and we're about to see who that rival against me will be. And whoever finds the most glorious find today out of that lovely, lovely shoreline will win today's coveted prize, which is a family pack of discos. <gasps> and here is my rival today in the metal detectoring world, Miss Fanny Magnet, sporting her mildly superior Gara Ace 250. Now we'll be heading up to the beach shortly and then we'll be showing you our finds. Bring it on! <laughs> Welcome back, thanks for your patience. We were on that beach for four, maybe four and a half hours looking for our treasure. But first, before I introduce the top five, let's take a look at the typical junk that is the bane of the detectorist's life. Please welcome the crap yard. Here we go, let's have a look down here. We have a little Duracell battery, the traditional fishing weight, common find, but the absolute devil spawn these things here. Ring pulls, or as they say in the USA, Paul tabs. Find little bits of can. I thought this was an old fashioned wagon wheel. I used to eat these as a kid. Couldn't find out what it is. It's deeply, deeply corroded. We got bottle tops. Look at that. Everyone likes a screw on the beach. Oh. Anything else here we got? No, not much. Diverse, corroded, ambiguous metal. And a little stellar artois top. Okay, with that, let's get down to our top five. Here we go, YouTubers, the top five finds of the day. Number five, slags. Now, being the wimpy pimp, I've found and picked up many slags on the beach in my time, but I'm talking about these little monkeys here. They contain, in their composition, a form of iron. I found loads of these today. It was becoming rather troublesome, that, but did help me very much on the maintenance of my six pack. Not much else to say, really. Bring on number four. And here we are with number four. Now check this out. This is deeply corroded and rusted. We found it on the shoreline. It looks like some kind of nut attached to some kind of screw device and everything like that. I can't discern entirely what it is. If anybody knows, does do leave a comment in the comments section. I personally believe it could be some form of a Roman centurion's butt plug. <gasps> now, on to number three. And here we go, on to find number three. It is an English 20 pence coin here. The year, I believe, is 2006. That was a strange one for me. I finally got off crack, but also my friend Sandra did doggy style for the first time. Without further ado, on to number two. And now we're on to the penultimate find. It is a stainless steel spoon. Now this was rather interesting. I haven't done any spooning on the beach for quite some time. But this oh. one's rather interesting because it's made by a company called Rayware. Now I'm just wondering if there's a bloke out there called Ray wondering to himself, where's my spoon? It's number one time. Okay, now for the ultimate find of the day, number one, and I must concede this was found by Fanny herself. We have confirmed it is indeed a World War I rifle bullet shell, which actually turned out to be a blank. Now, if you take a look at it there, there is some numbering on there and some lettering. If anybody wants to comment, I would greatly appreciate it. The numbers are 88. I can't quite discern the lettering due to its corrosion. I think it may say something KF. If anyone can let me know, that would be great. Now, with that number one find being established, we can now go straight on to the prize giving. 